What is your soulmate's location, name and zodiac sign? Today we're gonna dive into every details about your soulmate. I prepared three bottles for today which are going to guide you towards this destination of love. We have bottle number one, number two and number three. Take your time, you can meditate on the bottles and then the one or the one calling you is going to be the answer for you. And by the way, if you guys want some ASMR content, I created an ASMR channel and for Sunday you will have a tarot reading ASMR with triggers as well included, so make sure to join down below. This is going to be linked in the description. And if you want some personal guidance and the tools, everything is also linked down below. So when you guys are ready, you can find the timestamps on the video directly or down below in the description. So group number one, let's start and see more hints. First of all, with this bottle, we can see a place where it's a desert. So maybe your person can come from this type of place. And this screams to me, especially in California. But this can also be a different place for you. Let's see, could be for example, I think of Australia as well. Or any type of place like that. So let's get more hints with the cards. Okay, so first of all, we have the Queen of Swords and we have the Hermit's card. So here with the energy, I see somebody who is going to appear as very confident, powerful, very straightforward, very blunt as well. And you can see all the defeated enemies on spikes. I know it's quite intense, um, but what I see is just that this person is going to stick to the people that are, you know, just the best company, the best options for them. Fun fact is one was moving, so possibly opening their wings to be with the right person, flying to you, flying to somebody they can fully trust. This can be access, of course, kind of like a sign for you guys that this person is moving on from the past and leading towards possibly a time of solitude with the hermit. And this time of solitude is going to help the person to know what they're really looking for. And what they're looking for is somebody that can connect to them solely, a soulmate. This person could be an air sign or Virgo, because we have these two cards. Um, this connects to these signs. But right away, I see someone who knows what they're looking for because they've been single for a while. And this time of being single is what makes the person certain of which direction to take when it comes to love. This is not somebody who wastes their times. If they don't feel a connection, if they don't see much compatibility, they're just moving towards actually just being alone. They don't really mind being alone. They don't really mind being single. So it's rather the best soulmate, which is you, <laughs> um, or nobody because they have been betrayed in the past and they kind of slayed their enemies. <laughs> you know, it's really the vibe from the Queen of Swords. So let's see for these two cards which places they are connected to. So the Hermit, this is Ireland. As you can tell here. And then for the Queen of Swords, let's see. Yes, so we have China. I mean, yes, it was Screaming Asia. So China and Ireland so far, but we have many, many decks and cards showing you places. So let's see more places, more countries. Canada. Switzerland. We started with like, <laughs> you know, a very dry area, very hot. And here we are the opposite, you know, we have the mountains, a very misty, humid weather. And here we have the forest, so very green again. And Korea, okay, so China, Korea, this can connect with the person's place. If not, the place could be their origin too. All right, so I'm going to show you a close up. And here, what I see is the computer. So this can connect as well to the idea of you guys starting to exchange online. So from um, the internet. So it could be from an app, could be meeting somebody and then starting to exchange a bit more online. And with the... Um, not sure if you can see it clearly, but here you have 
a bike. So this could be the ride that you take. And here we have a road. So the road can be a symbol. You might be guided with signs towards this destination, towards this person. So the soulmate might be actually destined to be with you. And you might feel this inner compass is really pushing you towards this person. And this person is waiting for somebody like you. And I'm saying this person quite selective. So you will have to play the game <laughs> to, you know, really get to them or just start seducing them in a way that, you know, you'll have to put effort into it. So let's see a couple cards. Okay, so maybe to win their heart, food is gonna be one of the things they love. And this could be their love language too. For example, if this person takes you out on dates or cooks something for you, that means they truly care and they want to give generously with you with food. So food, a love language. Maybe this person loves to stay at home too because we are the hermit and the hermit is pretty much this introverted uh, side of them or just this introverted character. And we saw someone who is like, oh, you rather gotta be somebody special or you're not in my life or I will not let you in. And here you can see home. So when they welcome you home to their place, it means they trust you. And if they want to cook for you, eh, that's a big, big, big sign, okay? So let's see, one more. I mean, yes, of course. <laughs> so the soulmate is special. So we have confirmation somebody that's a soulmate and someone who might be very good at cooking and expressing their love through food. So these are the signs. Of course, you can see, for example, like here, I can see the, how do you call it? A medusa? Is it? No, I don't remember. But this, <laughs> this symbol can be a symbol that you see from your person. Of course, you can see other symbols here. For example, we have... I think these are um, red roses. We have spring season, by the way, showing up. So it could be. Here we have more of a like, misty, gloomy season. So I think of autumn. If not, the season could be actually connected to... Um, like, for example, their favorite season. And here we have winter and Virgo season too, if not their zodiac sign. So I see more places. So where can you meet? We have the subway. And this could be connected to the fact that this person lives in a city. Next drive. I do think so. Like there is some distance calling an inu compass. So you might actually use these transportation tools to then be with your soulmate. So we have subway, driving in the same field so you can come from the same field you can do the same type of job so for example if you are here we have two people working in the medical field so maybe that's connecting to what you guys do or for example if you have a project in common then maybe in the future you guys will collaborate together so if not now, maybe later, you guys will be in the same field or working on the same uh, project. So next drive, same field and the subway. And again, we have winter season or like autumn season with the way she is dressed. Let's see more symbolic places for you guys. We have... A bookstore, so maybe books can be significant or something that you guys talk about, like the last book you read or you might suggest a book that you love a lot. Or for example, this person at home has a library or this person loves to, you know, study a lot. This can be a sign or you can be meeting in one of these places actually. So where you can find books and we have the fruit shop. So it could be a preference, of course, or for example, when you guys go for, you know, some groceries, some food, you can be meeting each other. So some fruit shop. Let's see now their zodiac sign. 
<laughs> that is exactly what we saw. So Virgo indeed. We have again air sign. This is just confirmation. So let me pick another one. Another one for you guys. Okay, so Virgo air sign, water sign, and here we have fire sign. That is quite diverse, which is good because that's a collective reading. So you need options to, you know, just see if this is connected to maybe somebody that you have in mind. This one was in reverse. I just noticed that. Uh, so Virgo, water sign, air sign, and fire sign. These are especially the signs for you. Of course, for example, you can see um, maybe a person, a specific person that is uh, looking similar to the people that you saw during this reading, okay? So these are the signs. Let me pick now letters and words so we can see a name, maybe more places, initials, a word. So anything about your soulmate. So here we have them. We have no, so perhaps you know this person or maybe this person is known by a friend. We have a tie or ties showing up. So you guys are indeed solely connected. Ties. I would street and city as well for these and we have night so it could be at night time that you guys are bonding a bit more or just meeting each other around night time we have east est showing up and that is pretty much what i can see oh and by the way we have another sign here so we have aries as a plus Let's go group number two and see some hints about your soulmate. So where is your soulmate coming from? First of all, you can see the scene at the sea. So perhaps this person lives near a place where you can find the sea or the beach. And what I see with the flowers is that there is something blooming between the two of you. As for the wave, the wave can show movement or a step in that relationship that is taken okay um i'm not sure if i should pick these because they flipped so i'll pick them up because i believe this was for a reason so what i see here is that this person feels very lonely as if something was taken away from their souls and you might feel the same possibly as if when you are single or when you know, you're just searching for the one, it feels very lonely, it feels like something is missing, or someone is missing, should I say. So your souls might be calling for each other right now, and you feel like something is just not there, and you just want to go back to somebody who is special for you. Number five announces change, so you can expect this person to come your way. As for this one, what I see is somebody who might be using meditations or any type of visuals, uh, visualization, daydreams, to be manifesting you. I do see this person seeing you in dreams or just seeing you appear when they are in that trance or meditative state. And this is helping them to know what they're really looking for and what they truly value. There is this opportunity calling them right now that they need to notice and they might notice glimpses and hints or even signs from the universe or their guides and beyond that will guide them towards you. I see this as a window, the window to each other. And we had windows here appearing. So this can be a symbol. The symbol for the window is about this clear vision or this openness. When you open your window, you welcome some freshness, okay? So this can be a symbol that you are, the two of you, be being open or become open to welcome your soulmate. So this openness will bring this person in. And maybe that's a sign for you. If you've been a bit guarded or always rejecting people or just feeling like I'm always saying no, 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 then this can be a sign for you to work on being more 
welcoming and saying yes to opportunities and experiencing them so then you can see what's valuable i see this person as a generous person they love to give even when sometimes they don't really have much and this can be giving for example giving their love when deep down they don't give love to themselves you see it's not always about money or about material generosity this can be just spreading good vibes or just giving, um, doing things for people, being present for them. This is the type of generosity I'm getting from your person here. And we have four, five, six. So this can show evolution, some improvement with a connection here with a soulmate. If you have somebody in mind, this can be, you know, what happens next? Evolution, movement. We saw that with the wave as well. Somebody dreaming to be with you because they feel like something is missing when you are not around and they truly value you and they want to give back to you, to provide to you. So let's see with the cards, which places, they are associated to so let's see uh, the four of cups so Denmark is this place and then we have coins coins so five of coins again Denmark <laughs> and here we have Alaska oops so these are the places present in the booklet of course we have many to come so if these were not resonating with the place or origin of your person it's fine because we have a lot of them so let's see more places oh and signs you can see can be all these for example insects um i think of especially beetles or any type of insects like that beetles announce actually someone who is hard working or some work need to part to achieve something or maybe to be with this person, so putting the work in that relationship will lead towards success. Birds are showing up, especially peacocks or like little birds singing. And when you hear them singing, this might be a connection to your spirit guides. So anything that you think about when you hear them singing might be actually connected. Here we have Europe, Africa and England. England, Africa. And there is a calling too. Like, can you see? She is calling at the moment. So this can be connected to you guys too. For example, you are starting to talk to somebody through the phone. That can be your sign, okay? And so Europe and England. And this makes me think of Peter Pan. So it could be something that, you know, you talk about or any type of movie that you like connected to Peter Pan or they can have this type of personality like Peter Pan. They don't want to grow old. They have this youthful, playful essence about them. This can be... Oh, and look at this. We have a window again and the shutters are opened. So yeah, you might just see with more clarity who that person is or maybe this reading is going to really show you a lot of hints about this person. So let's see more couple cards i'm not sure if i should oh, i don't think so this one was not coming out okay this person is going to with their energy with their souls they're going to whisper to you unless they are an asmr artist i don't know but yes i just see that or maybe they will love to whisper when you guys talk to each other you know when you are in bed together and you just talk you might just whisper to each other um, and with the, um, here you can see the mirror. The mirror can represent somebody who is going to mirror a lot about you. You know, any type of personality traits, things that you like, things that you talk about, things that you do. It's kind of like seeing into a mirror, you know, when you connect with them. So whispers. And a walk in the park. Could be how you meet them. <laughs> so if you want to, you know, just take a walk in nature or just go to a certain place, this could be the calling here. So walk in the park. And this is a symbol to me. You know, this symbol is really connected to the idea of a relationship that is easy. It's like a walk in the park. It's easy, it's smooth, it's, it's just an evidence. So let's see more places. So where can you be meeting? 
the gym, we have Starbucks and school. So these could be places where you meet your soulmate. So when you get your coffee, <laughs> your baguette or whatever bakery thing that is, the gym and school. If you don't go to school, of course, it could be, for example, workplace or a place where you study. Let's see next other symbolic places. Oh, I forgot to talk about this, but for the zodiac sign, we have earth signs with the coins and water with the cups. We have a toy store. The toy store can be, for example, I mean, this is around Christmas that I'm recording, but of course that's a timeless fitting. For example, you want to get a gift for um, a kid or maybe you want to get a present for Christmas, then this can be something connected. So you can be talking about these things or you can go together and buy a gift together. If not, you know, around this time, it could be a birthday celebration. This could be a gift for a friend. You know, something like that is connected. And we have the art gallery. So you guys can be artists or will love to talk about art a lot. So we have a good gift, art gallery, paint. These are some hints for you guys. But of course, you can be meeting, you know, while going shopping or here, going to a gallery or any type of artistic place. Could be a concert, um, some type of, you know, performance. Let's see now, there's a Jack sign. I'll take this one and this one too. <laughs> Let's pick another one. I'll take the one faced down because we have many here. All right, so Capricorn, Aries, very intense signs. And yes, definitely all the most intense signs in my opinion. But Sagittarius, I see an adventurous person, someone who is just very animated and curious and bubbly and fun to be around. As for Aries, I always see Aries as, you know, just very good uh, boss and leaders. So that's why I'm seeing intense. <laughs> uh, and Capricorn, again, ambitious, hardworking, highly successful, you know, always somebody who is going to really set their mind on what to achieve. Same thing for Aries. So like I said, you are attracting someone who is quite ambitious, very good at leading or inspiring people, and they know what they came here to do as their soul's mission. But I'm sure with you, like when they have their eyes on you, they will just put the work to be with you. So let's see next letters and words. So here you can see a name, a place, maybe initials, words. Let's see. Group number two. You know what? I'll pick something like that so it's easier. I heard eat. Yes, and we have eat, <laughs> was not saying the letter T. We have the C showing up. We have people. And then we have light. Again, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Scorpio, she, day. I heard creative, sat, or state, maybe? era so you possibly add a lot of different lifetimes together in different eras i see summer in french été showing up tear or tear tears maybe being sad and actually you could see that you know she she or he feels sad as if something is missing. And possibly when this person feels emotional, this person can reach out to you. So group number three, let's see more hints about your soulmate places and symbolic ones for you to notice where this person is coming from. When I picked this one before the reading, what I thought about is that there is a path. 
for you that is leading towards this person. And because we have this big balloon about to float around and discover new horizons, this can be also the idea of you having to travel to be meeting this person. It doesn't have to be too far, but I do see some transportation tool leading towards this person's road or towards this person's place. So for example, you can actually take the train, the bus, the car, or maybe walk somewhere or even fly somewhere to then be with this person for the mountains at the distance could be this type of place um where you guys can be coming from but especially from this person even the colors you can see here can be connected of course i think of france but this could be a different place as well these are usa flags colors too so could be usa as well so let's see more places and more hints. Okay, what I see here is somebody who is adventurous and curious. So if this is a long distance relationship, no, no problem because they're like, I just want to open my wings and fly. I want to be with you. I want to explore. And this could be a good opportunity for me to discover your culture or to discover your place. So, like I said, I do think there is some distance between you and the person and one of you is going to make that step forward to then be together. And birds can be signs that you see. We have the wind as well. So maybe wind spirit is also connected to your person here. Mm, what else? Yeah, I just see that this is going to flow between the two of you, as if this is an evidence for you guys to be together. But as for the page, we have a youthful spirit, somebody who is fun to be around, very talkative, like they have a lot of experiences, they love to be traveling, they love to be, you know, just talking to a lot of different people because they want to really get really merged in that experience with people. So definitely somebody social. Um, we have air sign for this one, and this could be connected to winter as a season, so maybe that connects to the time when you are watching, but that is a timeless reading, so let's pick the two faced up for you guys. All right, so again, I see this youthful spirit, fun, entertaining, creative, always very animated. And I'm sure you're going to feel inspired and recharged by their energy because they have a lot of energy. <laughs> they might just be bouncing, you know, uh, walls to walls because they have that much energy and that much inspiration. They will be doing something that is significant for their inner child, or maybe they are just fulfilling this child dream and again i see someone who is going to be recognized by what they do so here this is just screaming that this person will be successful known or just very animated curious creative and always on the go always chasing for the next opportunity the next place to visit um the next best friend they just want to always get more experiences so if you're someone who is like this too you guys will just click perfectly, but definitely an extrovert, definitely someone who is adventurous, curious, animated, passionate, and they love people. I feel like they came on earth for people, and this is why they have their spotlight, and this is why they are recognized. Now this can be recognition soul to soul. So when meeting the soulmate, this will be an evidence. This person is in my soul family. This person is connected to me and we have been together before. So that's what I can see here. Recognition, seeing each other and understanding, yes, there is something. I cannot understand what's really happening, but I feel right away what this is about, what this connection is about. And we have number six, which is connected to love. So yeah, true love here is presented to you. And someone who is going to be desiring to find love, desiring to, you know, connect with somebody soul to soul in the most intense way. Because I do see somebody who is intense here in a good way. Um, and we add fire signs for these two. And for the season, that's spring season. So let's see places connected to these cards. So page of swords and wands. Let's see, let's see swords page 
So Anatolia, so Arabic countries. Then we have ones, ones energy. So six of ones and page. Six of ones, we have Burkina. I'm not sure where this place is, but if you know, you know. And don't worry because we have many places to come. So these are just a glimpse. And then we have the page, so Republic of Congo. These places are showing up for you. Let's continue. And if not places, could be their origin, for example. Let's see more. And we had, like I said, we had USA, we had France as well, Korea. And actually, I was thinking about it. Like, is the Korean flag with these colors? In the beginning, I was thinking about it. So I guess I was sensing it right. We have Russia. Sorry, my phone is ringing. And we have um, Korea. I, I see a road as well. There is like a indeed a path guiding you towards this person. So let's see. One more place. Connected. You know, we talked about um, an Arab place or Arabic origins. And this is showing up. So Arab, Korea and Russia. Could be close to these places too. For example, could be China. But definitely I see these as signs for you. And here again, we can see spring season and we talked about this. So let's see some couple cards for you guys. Ooh, so this could be a secret. Okay, maybe that makes sense because if this person is well known or they have some type of influence online, they can be wanting this relationship to be kept secret before things are really, really serious. Because sometimes, and especially when you are an influent person, you will have to just take your time with people because some people can actually just come to you because you have that type of fame. So yeah, just, just want to be certain that you are serious towards them before talking about this relationship publicly. So secret lovers and we have seduction starting with you and the person. And what I see here is two lovers, you know, starting to connect with each other and enjoy each other's presence too. Seduction and secret romance between these two. Let's see more places for you. So you can come from the same city. Okay, so if you guys are not into long distance <laughs> and if you're not willing to be in a long distance, then that can just be the sign for you. Maybe not too far, actually. Uh, we have the parking and the convenience store. So these could be other places where you go to together or even where you guys can meet. So parking, convenience store and the same city. Let's see next. More places. And pay attention to the looks on the cards too because they can be significant. And for example, because this one is an old painting, this can connect to a past life together. Even maybe the way they are dressed on this card can be significant to you guys', you know, um, lifetime together. <laughs> So that could be a hint, especially if you felt some attraction towards this era here. Or even these paintings or any type of decors from this era. This is mostly a sign because your soul finds comfort in these things or styles as well. So let's see more places where we can be meeting each other. We have, ooh, actually going to your person's place. If this is a long distance, I can see why. Especially if you go from, you know, another country to another country. Yes, you might be traveling to one of you guys' place, you guys' house or apartment, but Definitely planning to meet each other at one of you guys' place. We have a road appearing too. 
We talked about the road, we saw the road here. Even here we can see a path with a road. So that might be a sign. Let's pick another one. Perfect. And we have, I think that's a tea place. Let me check. Yes. Matcha, plants around. <laughs> or maybe that's the, the decor from their house. It's gonna be very green. Um, this makes me think of Japan for this place. So maybe Japan could be an extra place for you guys. Or they can just love their tea. Um, or just love places with a lot of green. Let's see now their zodiac sign. So, so far we had fire sign and air signs. Virgo, Libra, this one in Aquarius. Okay, so they can be signs or they can be seasons if not connected to the zodiac sign of your person. Libra, Aquarius and Virgo and the way they look can be again significant. Also I see birds around, doves, and we talked about this in the beginning. You can be seeing birds around. You guys can talk about books that you read or maybe you guys study together. And here I just see somebody looking beautiful and maybe this is what makes the person very popular. Because they look beautiful, they are very intelligent, they have a lot of things to share. And they have this spirit which is very fun. And you could see that, a creative person, you know, just wanting to enjoy life to the fullest. Let's see now letters and words, so we can see a name, a place appearing. Anything important? I'll place these on the book. So you can see it. In, in French, you know, this is like a code, cadeau. And this is gift in France. In, yeah, in French, I mean, not France. I mean, yes, it's the same, but... Oh, we have sing. Sing showing up, I see. Sir. Korea, K-R. England. We have good in here. We have love. Dog. So they can have a dog as well. We have done. Kind of road appearing to Ikea, kind of. So they can be fans of Ikea or love to go there with you. We have ride. So you can be riding to your place, driving to your place. And that's pretty much what I can see. Oh, we have ego too. So they can have a bit of an ego, but who doesn't have any ego? <laughs> right? So don't be scared about these things. Yes, that's pretty much what I can see. So I hope you guys like this reading. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. Claim this energy down below. If you want some personal guidance, check it down below as well. Make sure to also follow me on my ASMR channel where I'm going to post a future spouse reading with sounds and triggers. If you guys like it, check my other readings while you wait for me. Sending you love. Bye-bye.